Hi, I'm Dave from Midi and I've brought you here to a fantastic venue in Barnsley. This is Woosburg Reservoir. Now I used to come here as a kid with my mum and dad and fish on the wall and fish for big skimmers uh, back in the day. But it's all changed now, there's loads and loads of carp what's gone in. We're going to be fishing at range with a method feeder or a conventional feeder, hoping to catch some, some big skimmers, hopefully some maybe some carp if we look at it is very very cold today and it's only going to get up to around about five to six degrees so fingers crossed we never we might get a carp who knows but like i said we're going to be fishing at range with the new cortex rods from midair so let's have a look at the kit right here it is this is the brand new cortex zero limits distance feeder this is the 13 foot version we also do it in 11 and a 12 but Today I've decided on 13 foot because like I said we're chucking up to 70, 80, 90 meters so you're going to need a powerful rod to get you to that distance. So this rod I've got a 4000 reel on it anything between a 4000 or 5000 reel or maybe a little pit reel would be great to put on a, a larger rod because you're going to need that winding power to get the feeder to where you want it to go. The boat section has been specially designed to give you that cranking power when you're casting out to those long distances. You can see here it's got that nice section there to put your arm in so when you're cranking it it just goes down the side of your arm and as well as this small section here so you can grab it really tightly when you're giving those long casts. It's perfect for that so it's specially designed this boat to give you that extra when chucking out long. Basically, I've got six pound on six pound line on this, the MTech line. I've also got a, a shock leader on it at ten pounds. Like I said, you're casting long, so you don't want any crack off. So when you're chucking out long, it's not going to crack off. It just gives you that little bit of durability uh, when you're doing those long casts. So this is what I've got set up today on this one. This is a conventional feeder, and this is a helicopter rig. I've got two float stops there, um, which just keeps it all all nice and neat and basically I've got a little swivel there which has got my hook length on and it's and it's designed for when you're casting out really to get no tangles on it it's called a helicopter rig these are the Cortex Zuma feeders now these come in three different sizes um, these are perfect for long range uh, conventional style fishing um, and then basically all I've got then is 015 line um, to a size 14 hook. So that's my conventional setup. Now, I've also got a method feeder set up, exactly the same rod, but the method feeder I'm using is the Gripper flatbed method feeder from Midder. And I've put on today, because it's getting a little bit winter time, like I said, it's only gonna get up to five, six degrees today. What I've put on is a size 14 uh, QC1 hook. Uh, with a little bait band and I've got an array of wafters to try different colours um, so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck out the conventional first and then hopefully catch a few skimmers on that and then we'll chuck the method out and see if we can get any bigger skimmers or possibly a carp. We're into a fish on the method feeder it's been a little bit slow on the conventional and for two hours We've not had a bite. Now, you would have thought today, being that cold, we would have got a couple of bites on the conventional, even putting in a few little bits of joker, double pinky on that, and it, for some reason, it's just not gone. So, we chucked a method feeder over the top with some pellets and a wafter on, and we've had a decent day. It's been very, very strange. Um, but it just shows you not to be put off by using uh, pellets and a method feeder and a wafter in the winter. You can still catch these big skimmers um, on this. And it's been fantastic really today um, catching these big big skimmers on this method so this one we cast it out about to about 75 meters we've clipped up 
and it's just taken about 10 minutes before it's gone round. We seem to be getting the bites today about 10 to 12 minutes and we've just been timing the bites and then just recasting even though in the winter we're still getting these bites off these skimmers so let's just see if we can get this one in feels a decent decent skimmer so we're just letting the rod do the work and just winding in very gently here we go All right See if we can get this one in. We've had some skimmers today touching four pound and I think this is no, another decent one. So let's just concentrate on this last section here and hopefully we can get him in the net. There he comes. There we go, it's a nice bream. All the ones that we've caught today are, have been uh, a lot lighter than this and this one's a bit uh, a bit darker what a normal bream would look like look at that fantastic bream here at Woosbury Reservoir fishing at range with the new Quartex rods I really enjoyed it to say it's been a winter a winter session so we were just thinking about calling it a day and I thought Let's just chuck the old rod out before we go home. The old pack up. I look round and the tip's gone round. So, here we go again, another skimmer. It's great catching these in the winter time. It's a shame today though, we ain't caught a carp, but you can't have it all, David, can you? It was quite a surprise when we started catching a few skimmers late on in the afternoon. So, it's been a great day here. So all I'm doing is just pumping this fish in. Like I said, we're at 75 meters. So we've got quite a long way to try and get this fish in without it coming off. So just keep it nice and low. I know there's no snags or anything like that in this peg. So we just keep the rod nice and low and let it, let it do the work. All we're doing now is just waiting to hear that shock leader go through the the uh, end of the rod and then we know we can pick his net up ready to uh, land the fish right there we go so if you just heard that but it's gone through the runners and we know now he's in netting distance so we can hold his rod a bit higher up ready for the net and it's another one of them another one of them decent bream there we go there we go a little bit smaller than the other one but all welcome on a winter session Let's get him in the net. 